Good Tuesday, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Conversation with Daily News. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. We, of course, have your news headlines coming up on this Tuesday. We have the Truth of the Day with Mary Ellen Teganovich. And in today's Entertainment Spotlight, you're being part of my conversation with actress Kathleen Kenmont. Enjoy today's broadcast. For Conversation with Daily News, I'm Cyrus Webb with your Tuesday headlines. In national news, U.S. recovers most of ransom paid after colonial pipeline hack. The Justice Department has recovered most of a multi-million dollar ransom payment made to hackers after a cyber attack that caused the operator of the nation's largest fuel pipeline to halt its operations last month, officials said on Monday. The operation to recover the cryptocurrency from the Russia-based hacker group is the first undertaken by a specialized ransomware task force created by the Biden administration Justice Department and reflects a rare victory as U.S. officials scramble to confront a rapidly accelerating ransomware threat that has targeted critical industries around the world. By going after the entire ecosystem that fuels ransomware and digital currency, we will continue to use all of our tools and all of our resources to increase the cost and the consequences of ransomware attacks and other cyber-enabled attacks, the Deputy Attorney General said at a news conference announcing the operation on Monday. Georgia-based Colonial Pipeline, which supplies roughly half the fuel, consumed on the East Coast, temporarily shut down its operations on May 7th after a gang of cyber criminals using the dark side ransomware variant broke into its computer system. The ransomware variant used by DarkSide, which has been the subject of an FBI investigation for the past year, is one of the more than 100 the law enforcement officials have identified, said the FBI deputy director. Colonial officials have said they took their pipeline system offline before the attack had spread to its operating systems and decided soon after to pay ransom of 75 Bitcoin, then valued at roughly $4.4 million, in hopes of bringing itself back online as soon as possible. In more national news, FDA approves much debated Alzheimer's drug panned by experts. Government health officials on Monday approved the first new drug for Alzheimer's disease in nearly 20 years, disregarding warnings from independent advisors that the much debated treatment hasn't been shown to help slow the brain destroying disease. The Food and Drug Administration approved the drug from Biogen based on study results showing it seems reasonably likely to benefit Alzheimer's patients. It's the only therapy that U.S. regulators have said can likely treat the underlying disease rather than manage symptoms like anxiety and insomnia. The decision, which could impact millions of Americans and their families, is certain to spark disagreements among physicians, medical researchers, and patient groups. It also has far-reaching implications for the standards used to evaluate experimental therapies, including those that show only incremental benefits. In more national news, a lot of anxiety for Democrats as Biden agenda stalls. Hopes for a big infrastructure investment are teetering, and ambitious elections and voting bill is all but dead. Legislation on police brutality, gun control, and immigration has stalled out. After six months of Democratic control in Washington, the party's progressive wing is growing increasingly restless as campaign promises go undone, blocked not only by Republican obstruction, but also by Democrats' own inability to unite fully around priorities. The time ahead is pivotal for President Joe Biden and his allies in Congress to seize what some view as a transformative moment to rebuild the economy and reshape the country. The summer work period is traditionally among the busiest for Congress, but especially sharpened this year as Democrats strain to deliver on Biden's agenda. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer warned colleagues that June will test our resolve as senators return Monday with infrastructure talks dragging and the limits of bipartisanship in the 50-50 Senate increasingly clear. The party suffered a debilitating blow over the weekend when Senator Joe Manchin, the Democrat from West Virginia, announced his opposition to the voting bill titled S-1 because it is a top party priority. Many Democrats view it as crucial to protecting democracy and a direct response to restrictive new voting laws being passed in Republican-led states egged on by Donald Trump, the former president. In entertainment news, Snoop Dogg to join Def Jam label as strategic consultant. Snoop Dogg is getting ready to bark out orders at Def Jam Recordings. He is joining the label as an executive creator and strategic consultant. Def Jam announced on Monday that newly created role for the iconic rapper will allow Snoop to strategically work across the label's executive team 
and artist roster. And finally in business news, U.S. stocks clawed back much of an early loss and finished mixed. Stocks gave up some of their recent gains Monday, though the selling eased toward the end of the day, leaving the major indexes mixed. The S&P 500 slipped less than 0.1% after having been down 0.3% in the early going on Monday. The benchmark index, which is coming off two straight weekly gains, is within 0.2% of the all-time high it reached a month ago. Cyrus Webb, Conversations Daily News. It's now time for the Truth of the Day with Mary Ellen Teganovich. Mary Ellen, it's all yours. Hi, this is Mary Ellen with your Truth of the Day. Recognize your opportunities. When you feel confident about pursuing your goals, you begin to experience a desire to take on new projects to further your plans. Trust yourself to recognize lucrative opportunities when they arise. Obstacles now seem like minor hindrances to you. You might even reach for a bigger goal with more rewards. During this time, use it wisely to make a decision to go for what you want in your life. The moment you make this decision, God gets behind you to assist you with the steps you need to achieve this dream. Today, with trust and confidence in yourself, make the decision to realize your goals. And always remember to enjoy the day. Actress Kathleen Kenmont is featured in today's entertainment spotlight. We're here on Conversations Daily News. For Conversations Daily News, I'm Cyrus Webb with the entertainment spotlight. Actress Kathleen Kenmont joined me recently on Conversations Live, the radio show, to talk about the reflection on her career and her new book that definitely has people talking. Here's a bit of our conversation. You seem to have such a connection with others as well as experiences. So what has that been like for you to kind of translate, in a sense, in this new book? Well, I I think the, uh, the truth is, really, for anybody, once you really get to know yourself, that's when you really open to other people. To, true. I mean, I think that the more we are comfortable with who we are and, and when we've done our own homework on ourselves and we're not so much looking at how other people are doing it, but when we really start to reflect on how am I doing it, um, I think the criticism kind of falls away a bit. We, right. we stopped being so hard on, on other people because first we have to stop being so hard on ourselves. And, and that's really what this, uh, this book journey was for me. I mean, I think my sequel to my book should be, I should have been nicer to myself. <laughs> that's good uh, the, the follow up <laughs> but yeah. yeah I think we all have that one person in our life maybe a few people in our life that we maybe should have been nicer to or we felt like we could have done something better or we, we wish we could have a redo and uh, when you kind of walk down that road and, and, and look at that moment and, and see how you feel about it now um, perspective changes so, and, and you can learn from it and move on and uh, be open to new experiences and new people and new new things without stuff holding you back and, and ever feeling like, oh, well, I blew it then, I'm going to blow it now. So, right. no. Cyrus Webb, Conversations Daily News. We thank you all for tuning in to this edition of Conversations Daily News. We'll have to guess on tomorrow for more news, Truth of the Day with Mary Ellen Taganovich, and of course, your entertainment spotlight. Until then, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying, as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Daily News today. Let's make today amazing. Take care.